Welcome. Today I'm going to show you the output routing possibilities of your Drumit module. If you want to see more examples to develop your own ideas on how to route your outputs, please go to the manual to the chapter Signal Flow and Output Routing. Let's go to the unit menu to the page Out. By default, all signals of your mix are routed to outputs 1 and 2. Mix in this case means all the sounds that you have programmed, along with the equalization if you have set it, your metronome, your line in signal, and your song player. Also, by default, this same complete mix goes to your headphone output. So, in some situations, you might not want the metronome to come out of the output 1 and 2. So, first, you set your output 1 and 2 to receive a submix. And then, in the submix, you select the metronome and simply switch it off. For the Drumit 3 module, please be aware that you have to hold the More button when you click the rotary, otherwise you will jump to the next parameter on the screen. If you're in a live situation or in a recording situation with a sound man present, you can use the direct bus settings to use all the direct outputs of your module. First, in the unit menu, you change the out 1, 2 to 1 plus 2, which is the bus. And then on the page before, the INTF page, you Select your instrument and then you route this instrument, for instance, the kick drum, to just one, the first bus. The snare drum, you can use number two. The hi-hat, we will send to output three. And the cymbal to output four. If you select several instruments into a bus group, then you can also send out the panorama information of these instruments. Like for the snare, I'm changing now to output 1 and 2 to have a stereo signal. And then I go over to the kit page, volume, and here you have the balance knob. And now I can play the snare drum. and pan it wherever I want to my liking. And the same goes for all the instruments assigned to this bus group. When you're using the direct busing, the internal mixer and the internal EQ of your module will not be affecting the signal, so the sound man gets a clean signal so he can do whatever he likes to with your sounds. You might have noticed that sometimes you have just sub, for instance, and also sub with an exclamation mark. In this setting here, sub without the exclamation mark, the volume knob on your device will affect all signals. That means your headphone mix, but also the outs. If you have the sub with the exclamation mark, then the volume knob on the device will only control the headphone mix and whatever is assigned to the outs will now be not affected by the volume, so you're always giving line level to your sound man.
You can of course still fine-tune your headphone mix via the internal mixer of your Drumit module. Oh, my God. 